poppin' cooking. That's what we're doing today. We're making poppin' cooking meals. Poppin' cooking are these little like candy kits where you can make candy look like actual food. Candy is food, but Lucas is not for, um, familiar with this, but I am ecstatic right now because like 11 years ago, I used to watch YouTubers making poppin' cooking meals and now it's coming to life. I haven't been exposed to the poppin' cooking world yet. I remember seeing it in thumbnails, but I never clicked. Why? I actually don't know. Some sort of subconscious reason that I'd have to travel. I'd probably have to find out through therapy. I picked these up from an Asian grocery store. I am excited to have some gummy sushi. Honestly, it could be better than actual sushi, and when we're craving sushi, just pick up a pop and cook it. Oh yeah. Boom. So this is edible, but it smells like nail polish removal. Wait, did you? <laughs> it smells so chemically. Number one, make some rice. Oh, that's that's what that's for. She don't just pour all willy nilly. You use a little drop. I was actually stressed about that an hour ago. I was like, these are so tiny. How am I supposed to get this glass of water in there? Oh, yeah. But I was stressing for nothing. So these are meant for kids. Um. So let me add the rice candy powder. Is that smell chemicals? Oh, this actually smells good. It smells like blueberries. Oh yes. <laughs> So then it turns into a salad um, with the magic of science. I feel like we're in a meth lab right now. It honestly kind of looks like rice. I know, that, that came together quick. Um, number two, make omelet. So I guess we're making egg sushi. I've never had it. Oh but... yeah, I've never seen that on any menu, but. Oh, look at that yolk. So this one isn't really solid. It's more creating like a, a jello. Oh, it's smelling like really overly fruity alcohol drinks. Mm, yeah, just so much fake fruit. Now we're making the tuna. It's kind of, it's like gross at a certain point because <laughs> I'm pitching like this candy tuna and it just is gross to me. I know, like I know it's gonna smell like sugar, but I almost wish they kind of made it smell a little bit like actual tuna. I know, I kind of wish they made it actually taste like sushi somehow. I know, like just added fish juice. Drip, 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 drip. This is kind of like drying. It does somehow feel so relaxing. I know. And even the sounds. The plastic scraping against the plastic, it's like a meditation bell. Okay, this looks good. This is a jelly consistency. This is actually how tuna looks sometimes when it's like chopped up. This is something I would actually eat because like I always get spicy tuna. Now we wait three minutes until fall. So it's probably already been a minute. So uh, now you just have to wait a little bit. I mean, I can see them slowly hardening. I guess you you cut out some of the packing stuff and um, you 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 make like the like the tuna on there. Or something. This will be the sushi building station. Spread out the black candy to match shape and size of the packing tube. What black candy? Oh. Oh, this is it. I love stuff that's moldable. Oh my gosh. How's it taste? <laughs> Tastes good. <laughs> I'm so excited to eat this sushi knowing that like your fingers pressed into no. every, every little inch. <laughs> Even though it was my fingers, I was grossed out because my hands are always so sweaty and it just feels like, isn't your sweat like stuff from the inside of your body? Yeah, it's like gross. toxins, isn't it? Don't you like sweat out toxins? I think so. That's what people claim they go into saunas for. And now we make the salmon roe. And then use dropper to slowly add mixture B to mixture A. This is cool. You guys can say like we're putting on a show, but I actually am like, wait, what? Oh, this <laughs> is just awesome. <laughs> this is reminding me of boba. Oh yeah, is this, that, is this what someone's doing in the back of each boba shop? <laughs> <laughs> Something about that clip touched my soul. Okay, so I will form this rice into a ball and then you can cut the, the omelet and tuna in half. People watching this, this actually looks like rice. Cause even to me, it kind of does. No, because when you cook white rice specially, it does all get combined like this. I never knew we were actually gonna be able to make this look so good. This is, I don't know, like, I feel like I like, it just is so fun. It's just like, what? No, it's, huh? <laughs> so then we just plop the two, like the four pieces of egg and tuna on it. <gasps> oh! Uh-oh. Maybe the other way. Wait, why is it staying? Okay, these are looking good. We got three. We got four. Perfect! Mm. Make it look just like that, yeah. Okay, so two yellow ones in front. 
Bone? <gasps> Look at those fish balls. Oh. Okay, this is totally worth it, guys. Now we don't even need that rice. We have so many fish balls. What are these actually called? Um, pup. Uh, what are they called? Uh, go. No, if you went to a sushi restaurant, this whole meal would probably be like $30. And how much is a pop and cook in? Is it like, like $7? Like $5. Okay. Wanna eat one? Yeah, I'll eat it on its own. Mm, they actually pop in your mouth. Let me see. That's so cool. Mm. <laughs> Expectations versus reality. I would say we did a pretty good job. So now, of course, like any good chef, you need to see if it tastes good. Okay. I'm gonna have a tuna one. Cheers. Cheers. I'm not even kidding, it was actually weird when I first put my mouth because I was I was expecting sushi. I'm not kidding, <laughs> I actually was. I kinda was too. The rice candy actually has the texture of rice. Um, I don't think it doesn't taste that good. It tastes like when you've been chewing that big hubba bubba for like 20 minutes. I don't like it that much either. I'm just gonna try a little bit of the egg because I'm curious. Is that lemon? Or are they all the same flavor and I just made that up because it's yellow? Tastes kinda like pineapple? Now how are we gonna split this? You can have it. Are you joking? That was the most fun thing. Really? Vacuum boy. Mm. 100% wouldn't go to the sushi restaurant and make this instead. Yeah, I'll never eat real sushi again. Dang, I'm so hungry, but I wanna eat something that's like so, that's easy to make and it's also healthy. Oh wait. Factor's a thing. This fall season, you can rely on Factor for fast, tasty meals that will fit your lifestyle. This is a Middle Eastern chickpea bowl. It's really simple. You just cook it for two minutes and you'll have a, a tasty meal to eat. Meal plans with Factor range from four to 18 meals per week. And it's super easy to add or reduce the amount of meals you get per week. And you can also skip a week if you want to. It already smells so delicious. This is a good bite. Head to Factor 7 75.com or click the link below and use code JACOBCROOK50 to get 50% off your first Facto box. Again, in case you missed it, head to Facto75.com or click the link below and use code JACOBCROOK50 to get 50% off your first Facto box. Classic. You couldn't have said it any better. It comes with the soda, the fries, the bulgur. And the fries are doused in ketchup. Just like how I like them. So there's gonna be a little gummy ketchup involved. I'm excited about this one. I do love a good burger. Here we got all of our things. Oh, a little ketchup holder. <laughs> or is this the soda holder? It's for the soda, I think. Oh, little mini soda. I love how everything's so cute. So. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we need to cut off this little side thing. I think this is gonna be the waddle measurement device for this one. We make the french fries first, the most important part. It says potato candy powder. It was easier using the other device that I know. they gave us. Did you get rid of that? I already threw it away. Oh, that's easy, just dunk it. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So now we're gonna make the buns. One. For some reason I just two. smelled um, incense from Catholic Church. Are we about to get possessed? I hope not. These are gonna be some thick buns. You wanna make sure there's no powder, is what I'm learning. You just want it all incorporated, so your customers are happy. I'm kind of like, I'm in this fake fantasy where like those people ordering this. Okay, so then I divide this in half and I fill these two sides. And each bun slot has been filled. Woo! <laughs> 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 so now we make the patty. <clears throat> you say four cups? Yeah. Two, three, four. Oh, this one, I know that won't taste good. Oh, actually smells like pepper and seasonings. Okay, this looks gross though. No, it's, it's really stinking up the room. Fill the, this middle section until it is full. It will become form in 10 minutes. How am I supposed to do this, guys? That is where it gets stressful. So I'm actually gonna try a little bit because I'm just so curious. It's like chocolate, but like mixed with like, I actually don't even know why this came to mind, but like, 
<laughs> it tastes like you like eating like a bottle, like bodily fluid. It, just, it looks like poop. Oh no, that maybe that's why. It just feels like I'm being a cannibal. That's weird. Tastes like a bad cookie. Oh, so now we have to take out this potato thing. Okay, so are you supposed to like separate all these before you get going? I mean, I used to watch videos of it. I remember there was like a lot of cutting being done. But it seems like we don't even need to cut that much stuff. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, that oh. was easy. I first, for some reason I thought that was gonna be so hard. It has little rivets where we can cut the potatoes. <gasps> okay, you're getting the hang of it. I feel like you're so focused. <laughs> okay, there <laughs> is activities. Isn't there a name for these activities? Well, you just immediately become, get into a meditation. <laughs> you go into flow. Yeah. They did like sort of, you know, some of them were like off. Oh, yeah, like that. So cute. Add a triangle cup of water to the rigid bottom tray. Add powder from the yellow packet. Packet mix and knead. Ooh. Oh, so like really becoming bakers. So this is supposed to be the cheese, guys. It smells like banana. We actually have to use this package to create two little slices of cheese. Mm. I'm gonna cut that out. Yeah. Okay, so now I spread the cheese on this little guide. This is like a really big mind F though, because like we kind of said earlier, I actually am pitching it to taste like a burger. I know, I know I'm gonna it be won't. weird that one, it isn't. Whoa. Two slices of cheese for the two burgers. So we're gonna make the, the ketchup now. <laughs> now that is fun. It's just satisfying. I know. I was saying this tastes bad, but I keep munching, so. You must like it. It tastes like chia pudding. Cut the potty in the three. Oh, give me a single. Oh! It's gonna be a single <laughs> and a double. Oh, okay, I was confused for a second. I know. Now we just like make the bulgur. So we have to like get these buns out. Got one. Okay, and then we cut them in half. So we kind of flopped with the top of these. Doesn't it really look like the picture as smooth as the bun? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is so funny to watch. It just looks so intricate. Oh, you have to drizzle that just perfectly. Oh. So this is bringing back flashbacks to how it didn't take cough syrup. Oh, it always was in that little thing. Mm -hmm. Coca-Cola. Look at it's it. It's bubbling like I know. the Coca-Cola. It became carbonated. <laughs> I feel like my whole life depends on this working out. No, yeah, like I feel like I'm like so in the moment right now that you guys can say like, why do you care so much? It's because I'm so in the moment. I know, like nothing else matters besides this pop and cook and burger. Yeah, it's like to cut this into three burgers. I think I'm just gonna make two singles. It sounds too difficult. You don't think you can do three? No, it's too difficult. I don't want to ruin them. So the burger first, a slice of cheese. Yeah, this is cute. I. It's actually it was cute. I know. <laughs> it, it feels like I. You didn't finish your sentence, Jacob. Mom. Okay, it's a little dollop, not too much, not too little. Oh, are you kidding me? We slayed it. No, yeah, like, you, like, what? How are we just natural out I know, literally. We don't need to go to school for culinary. We just know how to do it, you know? I know. Okay. I'm just not a fan of this candy. Oh, maybe you'll like the fries though. They're kind of like fruity, sour vibes. I'm gonna take a bite of the burger though. It tastes like banana. I got banana from it too, but it's just too fake. I like how these fries are so powdery. And it's cool all the different textures. Cause like each little gummy layer, it's a little bit different. Not that I'm like on a diet or anything. I just can't finish my whole bowl And I'm full. Yeah, I just want, I, I do want to sip a pop to make all the food digest. You gotta drink liquids while eating. Now this is the coolest because it actually tastes like cola. Wait, really? Oh yeah, like a gross version, but yeah. Yeah, it's for sure gross, mm -hmm. but it still tastes like cola. That's I'll crazy. That That's fun. And. I got so many popping cookings because I was just so excited about it. I thought like since I got so many, we could both create one and see who could buttle. Last, this is a little bit of a Food Network competition moment. I have the poppin' cooking waffles. Those look complicated, so, oh, I didn't even look at my one. Are you kidding me? You sabotaged me. Oh no, we can um, do like a rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and you get to pick. I actually want to do this one. Okay. I was just trying to like, make people feel bad for me. Okay, little victim boy. Mine is donuts. 
it's like a 50% race, but 50% who's turned out better. Yeah, but like, it's like so, it's just fun both ways. So if you finish yours first and it looks like utter sh then it, you don't win. Ready, set, go. It's all gonna be okay. <laughs> Where's the monitor? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited that we're both doing desserts though, because I was kind of looking for something sweet. I know, after all that savory goodness. Ooh, a plastic hey, sheet. Mine has sprinkles? Oh wait, yours is too. Is it okay if I think out loud? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, I didn't know if I they do that. Will they do that on the kids' baking championship? I don't know, because I didn't want there to be a moment where you said, STOP! I'm dying! <laughs> I wanted to make sure that didn't happen. So I'm doing oh, wait, but I need the scissors right now. Oh, well, I'm, I'm just cutting mine because I wanted to get this out of the way. Oh, okay. I guess that's the thing on, on the children's baking championship. Don't they sometimes have a different. Yeah, I think there's only a few Evans and it does get stressful. <laughs> Okay. So I'm just like making the waffles right away. I'm not even making like the frosting first. I'm doing the dough for my donuts. Wait, mine actually tastes good. Oh, this is like different smells coming through. Oh, it smells so much like frosting. Mine smells, yeah, mine actually smells like I'm baking something. It's crazy. Yeah, this smells so good. Like I, I actually want to eat it already. I know. What <laughs> if we just don't finish it and just eat it? <laughs> Swallowed all the packets. Guys, this is actually so cool. I'm actually gonna make a waffle. Like, there's an actual, um, um, there's a, um, waffle iron in this. Do you ever have this thing when you're working with little things like this and you're using your fingers? Like, all of a sudden you get this weird thing and you wanna, like, break everything? It's happened to me multiple times. Oh, because you just get kind of over like, I don't know, with like, your hands, things. like, I don't know, it's like this weird thing where you just feel uncomfortable. So, I put a little ball of waffle in here, guys, and I squeeze it in the waffle iron. You have to admit, that's like the ultimate. Oh, that's fun. I know, just like, whoa. Oh my gosh, I have to make three waffles. I'm making four donuts, so don't even try to complain. I'm still on step one, but I'm not gonna ask you what step you're on because I'm gonna be stressed. Oh no, I'm, I am too. You, you didn't ask, but I still answered. If you beat him, I'm. Oh wait, how many stuff does your guys have? Does yours have? Six. Oh, okay, I low key, I'm cheating then, because mine only has five. Wait, do you view me as multiple people? Why? You said, how many steps does your guys have? <laughs> <laughs> Do you view me as more than one person? No, I think it's because you always act different. Mm, so you don't know, like, you kind of view me as like, yeah, that Lucas and like his other personality, he's all in one thing. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing about pop and cooking is that I feel like you kind of do think about deep things. Like, I mean, it's that like, who am I? <laughs> <laughs> but it's good how I'm thinking about it while I'm doing pop and cooking because I don't have to get stressed about it. Oh, yeah, I, I can like it think does about bring it. out that stuff. Yeah, it does bring out like this side of you where it's like, what? Because I actually just thought, what happens when we die? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I actually just made this up. I was gonna say, everyone always pretends they want to start a bakery. But is that only people in movies? You know, like in <laughs> Bridesmaids, she said, my dream is to start a bakery. Like, I don't know if that's real in real life. No, I, I think it is more of a movie thing if I'm being completely honest. Yeah. Oh, that's so, show that to the camera. Millennial pink. <laughs> This is just annoying me. Whatever, it's fine, it's gonna be okay. Are you joking? I'm making watermelon cream now. <laughs> this is just cute. So we've been making these for 17 minutes. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, it's like, time flies. I know, you're getting stressed out because I'm already like in the I know, <laughs> but mine could turn butter up and you all still. I just swallowed so that? much powder, I don't know why I did that. Yeah, mine's like flopping for some reason. Yay. Yeah, I'm just pissed. Wait, when did, you, when did you use your baggie? Like you could use it to sprinkle. You fill up a baggie with frosting and you cut the end. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. But I realized that actually is easier doing it with the finger. Like I'm getting more ground. I might do that too then. Oh, uh, I think I am gonna put in a baggie just, just cause I'm gonna follow. Mm, one of these frosting tastes like corn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, so basically at, at this point of the recipe, I can just decorate it however I want. So I'm not even gonna follow the directions because they, I think they're trying to trick me. So I'm done. They're trying to make it confusing. I'm done, but it looks like shit. <laughs> I hate to be like- Oh this. my God, I didn't, I haven't <laughs> looked at yours in a while. I hate to be like, what is it called? Like just, Hate on myself. Self deprecating. Like, yeah, but it is. I'm not even trying to be a hater, but when I first made mine, I didn't like it, but now seeing it next to yours, <laughs> I like it. 
<laughs> finished at 21 minutes and 33 seconds, and I finished at 24 minutes and 32 seconds. So we have to be honest, Lucas is toned out better, and he did it faster than me, so you won the competition. I mean, I guess you could say I won. You actually look at this, how, how cute it is and all the different designs. Compared to what transpired, it just isn't good at all. Should we try the donuts first? Yeah. So I think these are gonna taste I'm gonna try the chocolate <gasps> one first. Guys, I forgot about the sprinkles. Oh, we already threw them away. That's fine. Cheers. They're good. Oh, there's that little bit of a corn flavor I don't like. I'm not joking, I actually love it. Should try a little bit of the vanilla. <laughs> Mm, I like that one better. These just have like strawberry jam on them, <laughs> watermelon, like they're just everything. Now this frosting, I can tell, is gonna be good. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> no, watermelon is so gross. No, it's gross. It's like, it could have just made it actually taste like a waffle. But it tastes like bubble gum. Because <laughs> you know what I mean? The donuts actually tasted like donuts. Why don't they make this taste like a waffle? Yeah, the waffles are so shitty. I'm not even joking, guys. These donuts, like, I'd actually want to make them to eat them. <laughs> Minus whatever that corn flavor is. Congratulations. You did good, too. You make ramen, spring rolls, dumplings, mango pudding? I've never had mango pudding with ramen, but... That is... I haven't had a paper cut in so long. Ow. Okay, so we make the dessert first, the mango pudding. Hmm. Oh, wait. Seriously? Oh! <laughs> but that's funny! What? <laughs> I actually did not know that. I thought it was stuck in here. I thought it was a little bunt cake maker. It was in, it was like messy thing up. I know. <laughs> Fun fact, I love mango. Put that to the side. Mm. Okay, now we're gonna make the ramen topping. We're gonna make a boiled egg. Okay. And then it says tear off two pieces of the dough and fill the Naruto egg molds. So it's it's kind of like the waffle thing. We have to cut it out and then fold it. Oh, really? Yeah. That is fine. Okay, so then I just spread it on here. Like this. It shows stuff in the middle, though. Fill space it? on each side with powder from the red packet. Okay, so we just pull some of this red stuff in. Whoa. And I just fold this? Yeah. That is cool. Like, actually. And then it's a dumpling. I mean, that looks pretty good. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to see the inside. You see, I think <gasps> that's actually the key, what you just did. Yeah. That looks way better. Oh, Look okay. at that one compared to that one. So basically, we just don't spread it out as much. So now for the spring rolls, we just roll these into circles, pull some of that, this red stuff in, and then just kind of make it into like a burrito type thing. Spring rolls. <laughs> I'm gonna try some of these since we have extra. Mm, it's just like powdered sugar goodness. Mm. Okay, so now we get to make the ramen. So this is gonna be the soup powder. Oh, this isn't even the noodles yet? No, this is the soup. Get that cute little ramen bowl. Oh, look at that brown liquid. So you pour up to the line and then add the yellow packet. We squeeze it into the broth after that. Hey! No, no. This is pretty quick. And you have to save a little bit in this packet because you want to add it to the egg. So once you like get the hang of it, these are pretty quick to make. Oh. Oh. Okay. I actually thought we were gonna be rolling noodles, didn't you? No, yeah, I thought this was gonna be way more difficult. But like I made it fun. out to be way more difficult. This is so fun. <laughs> and then put the little egg in the Naruto on top. Oh. Crap, I didn't mean to do that. It still kinda looks, kinda looks good. Let's get the fork and lift up some noodles. We did a pretty good job. The mango pudding, okay, okay. Everything else is a slam dunk though. Can I try it first? You have a bite. I don't want it to be sweet. Whoa. Oh, it's cola. It's like the cola from the <laughs> hamburger. Ew. Do a big slop. <laughs> <laughs> Something is so funny about it. Something <laughs> isn't good. Ew. 
<laughs> okay, you're grossing me out. I was just enjoying myself, and then you make it gross. Pull fist pull. <laughs> I was just doing it normally. Okay, now we have the Over. dumpling. No, no, swing roll. These are good. <laughs> it's the exact same ingredients as no, the last one. <laughs> no, but the shape makes it better. That's true. I don't even want to eat that. <laughs> oh, well? I don't do. <laughs> mm. Wait. That fruit. was the best thing of the whole thing. It <laughs> like, again, it just tastes like fruit alcohol. <laughs> you can't go to ramen and not drink the broth, guys. This is just ridiculously cool. I know, it was <laughs> cute, I gotta admit. As a salt-obsessed lover, the flavor was lacking, but I loved just how it looked. I think that in the last three hours, yes, we've been doing public cooking for three hours, probably. I've matured like 10 years, finally mm. let go of that part of me, and I'm a butter person. And it's just as fun as I could have imagined. Did you unleash your inner child, kinda? I think I added more trauma to mine. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. 